everyone, I am Shampachari and welcome to ASIN Academy. So as you can see from the title of this video, in this video we will solve a question on the topic of mensuration and this question has also appeared in the CAT 2012 exam. Now the question is as follows, a rectangle with 88 meter is partitioned into 5 congruent rectangles as shown in the diagram given below. The perimeter of each of the congruent rectangles is, now we are provided with 4 options, A 20 meter, B 32 meter, C 48 meter and D 40 meter. So this was the question that has appeared in the CAT 2012 exam on the topic of mensuration and I would like you to try this question first by yourself and then come to the video for the solution. So I hope that you have tried the question and you have got the solution and if you didn't then let's check the solution. So according to a given question we have provided that the perimeter of this given rectangle is 88. So we can say that if the length of the rectangle is capital X and the breadth of the rectangle is capital Y then I can say that 2 into x plus y is equal to 88 or I can say that x plus y is equal to 44. So the sum of the sides of the rectangle is equal to 44. Now according to our given question we are provided that these figures are congruent to each other. Now when we say two figures are congruent to each other we mean that they are same in all respect. So if I take the length of the small rectangle as a and the breadth of the small rectangle as b then all the figures will have the same dimension. So this will become a a, A and A as well and all these three B, B, B and B respectively. So we have got that the smaller rectangle have the dimensions as A and B respectively. So the X is equal to 3B that is capital X is equal to 3B capital Y is equal to A plus B. If I put it in this equation number 1 I will get that 3B plus A plus B is equal to 44 or I can say that A plus 4B is equal to 44. So I've got my first equation as a plus 4b is equal to 44. Now since in our question we have taken two variables a and b, we have to form two equations as well to solve them. Now we can say capital X into capital Y is equal to 5ab because xy denotes the area of the bigger rectangle and 5ab will also become the area of the bigger rectangle because a into b is the area of the smaller rectangle and if I add it 5 times I will get the area of the bigger rectangle. Now instead of x we can write it as 3b. And instead of y we can write it as a plus b. So we have got that 3b into a plus b is equal to 5ab. Now we can cancel b from LHS and RHS and we will get 3a plus 3b is equal to 5a or I can say that 2a is equal to 3b. So this is our second equation and we have got two equations and we have two variables. Now we can solve them easily. So according to our previous calculations we have got these two equations 2a is equal to 3b and a plus 4b is equal to 44. Now by using the first equation I can say that a is equal to 3b by 2. Now we have got the value of a in terms of b and we can put it in the equation number 2 and we will get 3b by 2 plus 4b is equal to 44 and upon taking the LCM I will get 11b by 2 is equal to 44. Now if I transfer 2 over here I will get 11b is equal to 88 or the value of b is equal to 8. So you have got the value of variable b as 8. Now we know that a is equal to 3b by 2 or we can say that the value of a is equal to 12 because 3 into 8 is equal to 24 and 24 by 2 is equal to 12. According to our given question we have to find the perimeter of the small rectangle and that was equal to twice of a plus b. So according to our given results we have got that it is equal to 2 into 8 plus 12 which is equal to 40. So the smaller rectangle has the perimeter as 40 meter and according to our given option it is option number d. So our final answer is option number D, 40 meters. That was all for this video and I hope that you understood all the topics covered in this video. And if you have any doubt then you can post your doubts down in the comment section or you can send your doubts to us to our channel's official Instagram or Facebook page and we will surely solve your doubt as soon as possible. Or you can go to the official website of ASIN Academy and you can send your doubts to us from there and all the links are provided down in the description. And if you did like the video then please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel ASIN Academy.